Hey Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I post every day, bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, we're gonna get you some important messages that you need to hear right now. Today is the fifth of April, twenty twenty-four. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is seven forty-six a.m. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo important messages that Virgos need to hear right now. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever could be in your energy field. This reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Thanks for being here, Virgo. Now the swords in my first at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Virgo. Look at the Ten of Wands with the Devil right here. I feel like some of you could be overworking yourself and you or that you could be carrying a lot of burden and i feel like spirits could be saying that this is unhealthy okay and ace of cups indicates self-love and self-care to me right now but i'll get to another storyline that i do see over here ace of cups self-love self-care make sure your cup is full it's filled to the brim or overflowing as you can see right here um, before you take on all of these responsibilities, okay, and we've also got the lovers here. Yeah, another card that for me indicates you needing to love yourself more, okay. Now, Virgo, the Emperor in reverse. I feel like this has something to do with you feeling to see that you are actually the emperor in an upright position. Although there's an Aries energy, it doesn't matter. It could be somebody, which I'll get to later. The emperor in reverse. Remember that you're the emperor. The thing is, whether you're masculine or feminine, the emperor gives orders, right? He's just sitting there, he's giving orders to his soldiers or to whoever, whoever who works for him. So in reverse, I feel like some of you Virgo, perhaps, um, I don't know who this one is for, but you will have to sort of delegate, delegate, don't take on again, all of these responsibilities and you don't have to ma micromanage. That's what I'm hearing that's for some of you, okay? Because I feel like um, with the page of wands of up first, it's gonna make you, if you take on, on all the responsibilities, responsibilities and you don't share it with others or delegate, um, you might feel like you might lose your passion towards whatever that you could be doing. One second, Virgo. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for the cough. Now, Knight of Pentacles so dedicated right the knight of pentacles is somebody very dedicated very hard working it's also your energy don't look at yourself as the knight of pentacles the reason why i'm saying that is the emperor reverse is next to the knight of pentacles that means you are bigger than the knight of pentacles perhaps there's something that you're not seeing right now it's almost like you need to be the boss, okay? You need to believe that you're the boss. You need to believe that um, that you, it's that energy of you have control over yourself, over the situation by not controlling others, by not controlling the outcome. This is for those of you Virgos that I feel if you're overanalyzing things, you are, if you, if you micromanage every single thing, wanting control over every single minute thing, uh, where I feel like eventually that might deplete your energy because the devil is right here, okay? So maybe you could be feeling chained to a situation or environment 
or work or a connection, a romantic connection, any sorts of connection in general. And I feel like, again, it's basically telling you that it is, that is, um, that situation that you could be in right now, those connections may not be the healthiest because of the devil, okay? And for those of you Virgos who struggle with addiction, any sort of addiction, whether it's cigarette, substance, anything, I feel like, again, Spirit says it is your choice with the lovers to, because there's only one cup here, it is your choice to choose that or this. And that is those addiction. This is the, you know, being healthy, loving yourself more. Um, you don't have to be, you don't have to rely on any substances to be able to feel loved, okay? To feel complete, because the lovers is complete. There is a feminine and masculine together, okay? But Virgo, this could also mean there is a Capricorn in your life, or the devil, an Aries, or Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, can be any sign. I feel like the Page of Pentacles and World First and the Five of Cups could be somebody who's not talking to you right now or you're not talking to this person right now. Um, this person may be hesitating or moving very slowly towards you. I feel like that there is, you know, the devil, this connection, I feel like this person is very connected to you in a way where they may believe that this connection isn't healthy for you or for them, or for both of you. Hence, they may be trying to move on, but still feels as though, still feel as though with the devil, I still can't let go, still chain to these emotions or energy uh, with you. Or you could be feeling this way, okay, Virgo, somebody could be feeling chained to certain feelings that you have for somebody, but Virgo, this person may start to develop with Ace of Cups here some romantic feelings for you, okay? I feel like it could also be them feeling really upset with themselves because maybe this is somebody who, who tries everything to release you or it could, could be you. You, you, could be, you could have tried everything to release this person but can't help but with the devil here, but can't help um, but feeling so drawn to this person because the devil is such a magnetic energy, right? Um, let's see more, Virgo. Nine of Swords and Love first, the moon, and then we've got the Three of Wands. The devil sometimes can indicate fear, insecurities, or and same goes to the moon, right? Or doubting, uncertainties. You have doubts. Some of you may have doubts in regards to your life, in regards to where your life is heading, in regards to love. Um, Five of Cups constantly being disappointed by certain things that may have happened in your life. And Three of Wands, it makes me feel like you wondering, when am I going to get my break? Or when am I going to get a break from this perpetual feeling of disappointment, sadness. Unsure of where this is going, where your life is going, or what, where your connection with a certain person is going. But I feel like Virgo, again, the Emperor in reverse, could be space way of saying, you can't control the outcome. What you can control is yourself. Hence, the Ace of Cups is here, again, where you need to love yourself more, make sure. And the Ace of Cups, there's only one cup, okay? So the only control you have is you and yourself. You have no control of others. You can control your own actions. You can control your own decisions. Um, 
very good. Let's see a little bit more. Nine of Swords and Lovers. It feels like, basically saying sometimes you guys could be worrying things that you don't have to worry about, okay? And it goes back to, or it comes back to that feeling of wanting to control certain outcomes and situation. What you can do is do your part the best that you can for yourself. Uh, with Ace of Cups right here. And again, the lovers, make sure you're whole, okay? And then let everything unfold itself. Because the moon is, you don't know what's going to happen, but you just have to sort of trust the process. You might be in a dark of where your life is going or where a certain situation is going. And the high priestess here is in first. All will be revealed to you once again when your cup is full. Okay, nine of cups is in world first. So this is that incessant energy of feeling as though you're not enough or what you have is not enough but you are enough don't ever doubt that okay and four swords here is in reverse feeling frustrated knight of swords feeling you know feeling restless feeling angry angry with life for some of you Virgo angry with somebody and Virgo, vice versa, it could be somebody who is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, again, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, can be any sign, Pisces, I'm seeing here as well, Cancer, Scorpio, doesn't matter, can be any sign, okay? But it could be somebody who is upset with you, or you could be upset with this person, and that feeling of, this feels so good, I really want to be with this person, but I know that with the devil, that this may not be the healthiest way to go or the healthy healthiest connection but it's all at the end of the day in your mind right we can offer with ace of cups we can offer love to someone or we can offer time energy to someone um, whether they want to accept it or not it's their choice. You can't control somebody. Um, or it's vice versa. That person may want to offer you something, love, but you may deem this person to be unworthy of your love. And that feeling also of I'd rather be alone than being with somebody whom is toxic. Let's just see a bit more here for a go. Six of Swords. Judgment. When the time is right, okay, I feel like both of you will talk again or hash things out. But right now, I feel like there is a lot of anger maybe or frustration that this person may feel for you or you may feel for this person. Six of Swords. Moving on. Or moving towards karma water somebody could be doubtful in regards of how how we can resolve resolve these issues anger it could be anger issues somebody keeping secrets disappointments again I always talk about how you won't feel disappointed if you don't expect something from someone right but doesn't mean that Virgo it doesn't mean that you can allow anybody to do anything to you. You Again, you just have to make sure your cup is constantly full. If somebody depletes your this water in this cup, then it's time to release them, right? And then you focus in refilling your cup of love, cup of water. Um, Virgo, overall, I see that the Ace of Cups, you know, and the Lovers... It's basically saying again that you have a choice, right? Do you want to go to that route where you're going to deplete yourself, your energy? Or do you want to choose another route where you fill your cup full? Virgo, it could also be somebody, again, who wants to talk to you, feeling very connected to you. 
um, can't release you, but doing the best that they can to try to move on from you. But, you know, I feel like on one hand, this person does care about you or does love you, does like you. But on the other hand, it feels like with the devil and the lovers, that feeling of maybe this is wrong for some reason, okay? Three of Wands could be external factors, internal factors, friends, family, it can be anything, or it could be a, a love triangle situation for some of you. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. A lot of people tell me that I'm very accurate. You can book me. Um, all the info is below. Book me through PayPal or send me an email. And Virgo, for those of you who don't know, I do have a main channel. It's called Chelsea Love Tarot. Um, over there on my main channel, I go live normally once in a while. And I do weekly, monthly, yearly prediction reading. Check it out if you want to. Go ahead and subscribe to it. And on this channel, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. If you want to be notified every time that I post your videos, take care, Virgo. Love you. Bye.